Hello, Cappies. Narai here. Going to do a reading for you guys. I hope you guys are well. We are going to see what comes out for you guys. Spirit, what messages and guidance do we have for my fellow Capricorn, please? My fellow Capricorns, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Cappies. Woo! They tried to get away. They tried to get away from me. Three cards. Okay, thanks. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, this was next. Ooh! Well. I'm gonna pull one or two more cards. Thank you. Mm. Wonderful. So here, oh yes. Yes, ma'ams. So I have the two of wands. I love this. I have the two of wands. With the two of wands, you guys are making plans. Some of you may actually be making plans to travel, Capricorn. I feel like there's the curiosity of seeing what else is out there. I feel that, you know what, one moment here. I feel something. Oh, okay. I feel that you guys have been cooped up. You guys have been really keeping to yourself. I know I have. But you guys have been keeping to yourself and you guys have been planning. You've been planning the next move that you're gonna make, but you haven't actually done anything yet. Some of you have taken a moment to pause, call it hermit mode if you will, but you let some things go and you started seeing things from a different perspective. I feel that some of you may have just really needed some time to yourself. Uh, some of you may have realized just how much you sacrificed of yourself for relationships, whether it be friendships, romantic relationships. You probably bitten your tongue a lot when you know you should have said something, but in order to keep the peace, you just kept things to yourself, realizing that you just really did not do yourself any favors. I feel like there, there was a major pullback from you guys. Um, I also feel that you had to make a judgment call um, in regards to somebody or something. Some of you actually went through an awakening I don't know why I just thought that some of you guys have recently discovered that you know how to astral project. I do not know how to do that. I've never done it. But that sounds pretty freaking fantastic. I feel like you guys have been focused on your money. That's been the main priority for you guys. And that you guys have been conserving, pulling back and conserving yourself because you have been in that match my energy mode. You guys know how I am with the queen of pentacles. She's there sitting pretty. People don't realize that she's got enhanced senses now. She's more sensitive to things. He or she is more sensitive to the people that come around that just don't have good intentions. It's like something goes off in you. It's silent but you notice it. And then I have the nine of swords. You guys had gone through all of this because you were in a bad place at one time, but you're healing from this. You're no longer having sleepless nights. You refuse to allow anybody to put you in that energy again where you're going to have sleepless nights. Wondering where you stand. Having anxiety. If a person is going to be in your life and put you in that energy where you constantly feel on edge and you're having anxiety, then they got to go. 
that's how some of you feel. Now, this is not everyone because it's not something that everybody can easily do. Some people have an easier way of or uh, has it easier when it comes to detaching from people now because of the things that they've been through. I have the full card. There's going to be an opportunity that is going to require you to take a leap of faith. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. I don't know. I'm just like being, I'm following what I'm feeling. <gasps> Holy shit. It's your, your destiny. You are destined to move and walk away from somebody too. No, Siri, please mind your business. I'm having a conversation with my Capricorns here, okay? So, it was inevitable for you to move away from certain people because their time had expired in your life. And it's inevitable, what I had said earlier, that it's easier for some people to detach and move away from people than others. It was something, you went through something, you went through this. Wherever somebody had you having sleepless nights, etc. You went through that so that you could work on yourself, do the hard work and work on yourself, self, learn some things. Sometimes people even move out of our life so that we can focus on other things. Sometimes love does not work out so that we can focus on another area of our life. So that happened. You now know how to move away from people for some of you. It was inevitable that you were going to start moving away from people that are not serving you. That means they come into your life, they have no purpose, they're just wasting space. You guys have been trusting the universe. You guys have been seeing that light within yourselves. And it's like the universe is recognizing you guys and the work that you've done. And you are a star. You are a star. Some of you are learning that this is trust also. These two have to do with trust. The, the full card, she's trusting that that is strong enough to carry her. Yep. With this, it's like you guys were meant to be alone for a small period of time. You were meant to stand on yourself to find your footing and find your groundedness. And that's why you had to move away from certain people. But now you guys are getting into that energy where you're ready to make a move. You're going to take a leap of faith in regards to something or somebody. Why is this card telling me to pull it? Yep, see, you're taking action. Taking a leap of faith with the Fool card is taking action. The Three of Wands comes after the Two of Wands. This is planning, but this is actually taking action on those plans. Holy cow. Not dealing with any more headache. You're not dealing with anyone's lies. If you know somebody's lying repetitively to you, they've got to go. That's not all of you. That's just some of you. That's what I feel. But you guys are trusting the universe more, knowing that nobody can take away from what's yours, what's, what's, what you're destined for, nobody can take away from you. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to pull another card, guys. <laughs> I was just talking about destiny. Get the freak out. And then at the bottom, you guys have been learning to really trust your intuition. Okay, I just got chills all over. I wasn't ready for this. 
things don't work out for a reason. Remember in the last reading? Or yesterday's reading? Was it yesterday's? I can't remember, but I said people F up for a reason. Let me double check. I said people F up for a reason. Oh, Capricorn. Yes, yesterday's reading said Capricorn. Trust what you see when the mask fall off, falls off, realizing people F up for a reason. And then today's reading said Capricorn moving towards your destiny and doing more to manifest the love that you deserve. This is like confirmation of today's read uh, of the reading I did today. Today being the 27th of October. I don't know if I'm posting this today or if I'm posting it on the 28th. But this is confirmation of the last Capricorn reading. I don't know who you're meeting and I don't know when. But everything that's not working out for you is not working out because it is putting you in alignment with the one that you were meant to work out with. And don't be like... I just want to meet this person. What do I have to do? Mind your business. Do your responsibilities. Do not be worried about somebody coming into your life because they will come when they are meant to come into your life. And just like watching a, a, a tea kettle waiting for the water to boil, as long as you're focused on that person, you are actually pushing them away. Do not focus on it. When it comes to manifesting, you put out your wish like this and then you keep it moving. You don't focus on it all the time. And I know with watching tarot, it's kind of hard since every time you watch a reading, it's like you're meeting your person. Just let it go in one ear and out the other and be like, okay, I'm meeting my person. No problem. I'll meet them when I meet them. But don't be focused on when you're going to meet that person because what you're actually going to do is you're going to attract a false person into your life thinking that's the right one when it's not. Because you want it so bad. You're going to attract someone else that wants it so bad. And y'all, because y'all both want it, are going to be connected to each other when you are supposed to be with other people in some cases. But I'm going to leave you with that, Capricorn. Oh my goodness, this is too much for me. But I love you guys. Thank you for um, watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the notification bell so you know the next time I make a video. I do videos every week for every single sign, all 12. So love you. Do you, boo. Bye.